I still don't get why the last set of teeth to erupt in the mouth is usually called the wisdom teeth. I don't understand the rationale behind it. But it usually erupts with pain in most people. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to handle the, that pain and why it is that it actually comes with pain. So keep watching and I'll see you in this video. If you're new here i'm sorry i don't do cheesy greetings anymore but i love you and i would love for you to join us all right let's talk about this wisdom tooth pain also called pericoronitis and the whole point of the name the itis already means inflammation so pericoronitis is an inflammation around the last molar that usually erupts in the mouth and it erupts within the age of 18 to 24 years of age and the reason why it usually comes with a lot of pain is because oftentimes there is not enough space for it to erupt into or the positioning of the tooth as it wants to come out is not straight such that it erupts into the mouth. It is bent against the tooth in front of it. And over time, when you eat, when you eat whatever food you eat, the food particles pack around that area and during tooth brushing if you don't brush that place adequately and brush it well there is a chance that over time infection might take place in that area if it has occurred once there is a chance that it's going to occur again so that's why it's important to take care of that area very well and if those food particles actually stay there for a long while and act on the tooth itself then there is a chance that over time there is going to be a cavity on that tooth so now it would be more than pericoronitis only it will now turn to a whole different ball game entirely so meaning if you don't take anything away from this video today just take this around the last tooth it is important that you take your time to brush it if you don't it will become inflamed and that will cause pain and even with that the pain is usually recurrent it will come it will go it will take its time so you don't want that to keep happening you want to attack it immediately and just get rid of it so it's important that you clean around diarrhea when you're brushing your teeth also take the time to clean around diarrhea particularly if the tooth did not erupt well into the mouth all right what do you do when you have that pain so first like i said food particles are usually the cause of that inflammation around that area so you want to clean, keep it as clean as possible and how do you do that it's by toothbrushing so even though it is painful just take a soft toothbrush and paste and then use it to clean the area gently you don't have to be rough with it just to get rid of those food particles and after doing that, you're now going with your warm saline mouth rinse and then put it in your mouth. You gargle with it, just rinse your mouth with it to suit that area and it will help prevent that infection. So, having done that, it should resolve. But if it has progressed really bad, then you have to see your dentist. And in some cases, the dentist may recommend that you have to take out that tooth. So, and taking out the third molar is like one of the reasons why people fear dental procedures. It could be quite um, daunting and uh, scary, but there is nothing to be scared of because your dentist will take care of the pain. In summary, what I'm trying to say is pericoronitis is preventable if you can keep that tooth clean or the skin and uh, the gum around the last tooth if you can keep it clean to prevent infection. The only reason why there will be a need for surgical removal is when you have recurrent pericoronitis then the dentist would have no choice but to take it out. So it's a bit avoidable and all you have to do is Keep diarrhea clean. So maintain good oral hygiene by brushing twice daily. Take your time to brush. Don't brush for two seconds and say you're done. No, that's not possible. You need to brush for a minimum of two minutes. So brush around the teeth and then keep the mouth as clean as possible. Floss 
uh, use your interdental brush if you don't want to floss. Those are the two methods of cleaning interdentally. And uh, visit your dentist twice every year. That's every six months. So that in case of anything, before it happens, the dentist picks it up. All right, guys. So if you have watched this video thus far, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Until I see you in my next video, make sure you put a smile on somebody's face. Bye.